hey guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> in case you're wondering my name is Martha Shiro if it's your first time to be here if you have been here karibu sana again for the newbies as I've said my name is Martha Shiro and I'm really really glad to see you click on this video I hope you will be encouraged talk about motivation talk about encouragement everything everything positive here is just one roof and a god yeah <laughs> yeah that's when i have to stipulate manzi because it's very important yeah let me try and adjust manzi so that i can be able to speak the word <laughs> anyway guys so aha so today as you can see in my topic i've actually written gratitude over anxiety so this is something that actually i've been going through something that i have been live, living something that God has been leading me through and so I just felt like it's very very important that I share with you because it's actually an opportunity an opportune time of the year that we are actually ending the year and this year Monday next week is Christmas wow the year is ending and there's no need to be in panic mode Monday there's a reason for you to thank God for this 2021 as much as probably things have not go the way you was you were expecting them to go you have a reason to thank thank god and there's something that i listened to uh, somewhere as i've always if you have been listening to my videos uh i've always been saying that i've been listening to podcasts i always listen to preachings i always try and read my word because it is very very important for you to grow in the faith yeah in the faith of jesus christ yes so there's somewhere that i had that uh gratitude and anxiety cannot as in cannot live in the same place you know it's like light and darkness there is no way darkness can can coexist with light so it is definitely the same with anxiety and gratitude so the moment you start giving gratitude to god counting your blessings like one two three four this is what god has given unto me the anxiety will go and go and go and go and of course the bible the bible says in the book of first Thessalonians chapter five, and recommend me going to my word. I did ask you to in a flow, in a flow, in a flow. And this is actually the dream because this is the way, the truth, and the life. Yani, I'm just feeling so refreshed spiritually, and I feel even more hunger to eat the word and to just eat from God. So I feel nice i feel so nice because as much as the year is ending and there are those things that you really want to have achieved and you just feel like they are not going to be achieved there are so many things that god has done in your life that you just have to thank him for them you know like the gift of life like the gift of good health the gift of siblings the gift of uh parents you know the gift of family the gift of a house the gift of friends you know god has given you friends probably you have bought things that you never knew you will buy you know even the small small things you always have to count your blessings you know and that is something that i have been doing god has been able to to bring me in a point where give thanks you know give thanks in all things and as i was saying um the Bible, as it says in First Thessalonians chapter five, that give thanks, pray continually, and just rely on God in all these things concerning life. Because life is never easy, but with God, all things are possible. So, I don't know why, but um, I've just feel, been feeling like it's a season of another chance it's a season of uh god coming through in a way that he has never come through you know and 2021 has been a good year it has been having okay it's it's had its challenges and everything but honestly as i end the year i'm just feeling grateful that i've been able it's now one year on youtube uh of course i've not really been consistent sana um but i can see growth i can see god is actually working in this and i feel so content anytime that i upload a video whether it has one view whether, whether it has a hundred views i'm just grateful to god because i feel so content whenever i do it so 
this is a is a video to encourage you that whatever that you feel you have not accomplished in life it is not over god says that there's always another chance and he is a god of new beginnings he is a god whose mercies are new every morning so this is a season for me that i am feeling it's a new beginning it's a new start as much as there's so many things that may be going through um he's still god and never limit god i mean in, in that position that god is reminding me that don't limit me i'm your creator you know me nearly create the heaven and the the heavens and the earth you know what is impossible with me yeah and he's the beginning and the end so just continue relying on god and you will see his faithfulness because as i always say and even as his word says that he is not a man that he should lie nor is he a son of man that he has to repent but when he whenever he promises he will do he will definitely do it and bring it to pass so those things that you have been believing god for they are coming through and even in that time that you're waiting for them be be grateful you know count your blessings that's why i've actually labeled this video gratitude over anxiety and i will definitely uh touch on matthew chapter 6 in asama that be anxious for nothing you know you should not worry what you will eat you should not worry what you will wear because now can be a cloudy cloudy is one of the things that can give you pressure pressure can give you pressure in this life uh but and that god was very intentional when you're you should not worry because he's the one who dresses even the lilies you know easy mauwa he's the one who dresses them and it goes ahead to say that even solomon because he's one of the richest the richest guy in the bible who was there his clothes never got to he caribbean the lilies which he dresses so you can just imagine who like how much more will he provide for you if he can provide for the lilies and they kind of even wither the following day or the following moment so you are very special you are very loved by the most high god so never question god always give thanks in all things whether it's negative whether it's positive uh, as much as it's hard god is always there he's there to listen to you he's there to comfort you he's there to do everything that you need for him to do because he is god and he cannot be compared to any any human human being so i'm actually looking i don't want this video to be so loud so that's why i'm actually um trying to instill the point that god is faithful be grateful for the things that i'm in 2021 the things that he has done all through from when you were born up to now there are those things that god has done unakao you're really trying to reach for for the things which are ahead and forgetting the things that have actually been done for you so always be grateful in every every situation and even as you as we we in this church this season of christmas uh be you can be grateful to someone you can be grateful to someone probably it's your parents probably it's your siblings probably it's yourself you know be grateful to yourself as manga poly you know go somewhere if you don't have money for vacation you can buy for yourself a gift you know nothing is impossible with god so just be grateful in every situation and you will see the fruits of giving gratitude to god they are unmeasurable they are flow they will flow and overflow in jesus name so i hope you've enjoyed this video uh for the guys who haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and let me see you on my next video um cheers <laughs> see you in my next video so